uh, why won't you sell me this set that you just got for five dollars you know send it sell it to me for six you know you'll you'll make money on it uh, so you you've gotten yours out of it and people would get actually upset with him uh in his comments about it and it was it was ludicrous like people that were watching his videos were not taking into consideration the fact that he was driving like all over the south you know like it, and taking his like one of his boys with him so it's not just food for him it's food for the boy or it's food for both the boys um for the day in this ginormous truck and sometimes in this ginormous truck pulling this trailer um and he'd, go on, he'd go on these pre-hunts where he'd find the stores and he'd uh, he'd get his little slice of heaven set up and then on the one day he'd do the big gathering uh, which he would normally film and people would just be just brutal absolutely brutal to him <laughs> On that note, hey, I'm Big B. This is Mr. Fubrix. Welcome to another edition of the Lego Seller Stream, where we discuss uh, all things brick slinging. So, uh, we're gonna try to uh, cover a bunch of topics this week that we were just talking. I, I hit start because we were talking about Doc um, on some of his videos and uh, the people that were just absolutely brutal to him like fans of his people who were who are followers and commenters on like every video um that that came across as very cool and then all of a sudden like he found something that they really wanted and they were like oh you're gonna make like two three bucks off of it you know just send it to me not realizing you know that it now didn't make it worth it for him really to even have parted that out because he maybe he only got you know two of that set or three of that set to begin with Ted and Flitz Bricks, how you doing? What's going on? T Fall Bricks too, how are you? Uh, Ted and Flitz also, thanks for the order this week. I appreciate that. Hope you've received it already. Happy Thursday to everyone. We're curious what you think of our new time and day. Yep, yep. Uh, let us know what you think of the Thursday showing. This is definitely a lot more relaxed for me. Um, not just because my family is out of town until Sunday night this week, and I'm off as a dad uh, for the most part, you know. Till then, I'm pretty relaxed as it is right now. But uh, Thursday, a lot, a lot better. Definitely the slowest day of the week during the uh, spring, summer, fall area, but. Um, Probably, at least for me, Thursdays are uh, Thursdays do get busy during the winter, but not too bad. Every day is during that winter time. Like every day is busy. Yeah, for summertime it is a slow day because it's before the weekend, and I get a lot of orders over the weekend typically. Yeah, um, Fridays definitely are are the day that it picks. It starts to pick up. Payday, <laughs> payday, uh, and then also. Big time on Sundays, and also, of course, on Mondays. Mondays are a huge day. Um, but Thursdays are a good day. Pretty happy day. Yeah, I find Sunday night and Monday tends to get busy. You have a lot of builders who are getting to a stopping point in their builds. Like, oh, i got to order this, this, and this. And yeah. Like, I've got to figure out a new day to do my vlog on, too, because the whole point that I – the whole reason why I stopped doing the vlog was because Mondays were so busy, and I had – stupidly named the thing mystery package monday because it, it, it rhymed or something and i was stuck with it and it was a difficult day of the week to do stuff so but now that we've bought adobe premiere and adobe photoshop uh, on amazon day um, one of the most blessed shopping days of the year <laughs> foo's had a bad cough by the way a really bad cough so he's mute not to cough uh, I picked up Adobe Premiere and Adobe Photoshop, um, the Elements version, which means I don't have to buy a yearly license for it, 
with digital download points, which I've been advising to everybody to use uh, every time they check out. If you can check out and do one item at a time, um, and it has the thing where it's shipping from Amazon, you have the option to do the ship at your own speed Amazon and give me a dollar download. Currently being featured. Sometimes they put other things in there, but right now it's the digital download period. Um, Amazon is smart enough to, to combine everything and you're not going to get you know, 17 boxes at your door. But you could get 17 digital download points and that's uh, that's good enough for an HD copy of one of their movies on a Friday night. You can also use in my case, it was it was a uh, seventy four ninety nine for both Photoshop and Premiere as a package. So I use it for my tax software. Yep. Anything that Amazon sells as a digital download can be used with these one dollar credits. So you got books, you got Kindle. Uh, Mister Cheap Ass, how are you, sir? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Not much. Glad to have you on here. Uh, one of the segments we also wanted to cover on the show was uh, Lego Kidding. And right now, uh, the Hall and Fallen Auctions are doing quite a bit of stuff and featuring a few uh, a few places in the Lego community that are uh, accepting brick, I guess. Yeah, we're doing, uh, there's a charity up in uh, upstate New York called Sebastian's Lego Club. Uh, I know Fix spoke about it a little bit, and we just, we are starting to give back to the community, I guess. And then uh, the one you guys have running right now for the next 24 hours is going over to uh, Kittenville Ranch for his son. His son is uh, is currently being treated. He's got, uh, he's got uh, inoperable brain tumors. So there's a lot of expenses associated with that. They were having some car troubles earlier. Um, they're, ha they're not having the best luck running up to really bad luck. Uh, so they're, they're starting to get some stuff worked out. Uh, but right now you guys are running an auction and the proceeds, 100% of the proceeds of that auction will go towards uh, uh, Z Strong, his son Zarek's uh, foundation. Over that they have running on GoFundMe, correct? Yes. Uh, we also have Mr. Thick and Bricks in the uh, in the chat. He's supposed to be joining live. Tell him to get on here. Uh, I'm out shopping at Walmart. I know you're walking I'm around on here. in the parking lot at Walmart. I yeah. am. I'm trying to find my car at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, and I actually went on right before the show started and bid again on that auction. Well, we appreciate everybody's support, and uh, we'll continue to run these. It seems to, you know, we need to give back, because some of us are very fortunate. I think people like like doing this stuff. Yes, Sorry. <laughs> Looks like Big B that uh, Ted Flitz has got a question for you in the chat. So, uh, what is that Big B, the GoFundMe for Pittenville? I can uh, I can post that in the chat. I like Kittenville's got an invite. He's currently at a dinner with uh, the folks at St. Jude, with his family as well. He's known in the past that I was going to do some stuff for him, so he's absolutely cool with this. Um, but it was the timing didn't really work out. To get him on. He may try to still. I'm going to look for the link right now if you guys want to chat. Say something. Sure. So, what's, going on, what'd you, what's going on, man? What did you get at Walmart? Nothing. Nothing at all. Liar. <laughs> no, it, you know what? Um, it, it's so funny because my area, I'm in northeast Philadelphia. I work in Jersey. I've got nothing in clearance. Like, like it's good clearance, but it's not where I need to be, as you know. You know, percentages is all is all we really care about. Um, but I got nothing, but, um, I had a friend up in upstate New York who cleaned house. Like they went to two Walmarts and it was like 50 per 60% off retail. Wow. Like just insane, insaneness. And I have, all I have here, 
I had uh, four elf sets with the neon green and black dragon for nineteen dollars. I think retail on that is twenty five, which is you know it's not great. Nothing, nothing really I can do with those. I mean, everybody's following these dollar Jurassic World poly bags. I got nothing, nothing. Me too, man. I, mean, I don't even have the new Harry Potter ones that are full price that I'd be happy to get. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I'd be, they happy, had, to, um, I'd be happy to get like five just to throw them in the store for like tchotchkes as people are checking out. Like, you know, you go you go low in the beginning and then go high when they're cheap. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, they had a standee of the new Harry Potter CMFs gone. Gone. All of that was left is uh, peg hooks. I'm sure someone just cleaned it, cleaned off the peg hooks. <laughs> I haven't even I haven't even touched those things yet. I haven't even told my kids that the Harry Potter CMFs are available that are that are they're even in existence. No. Smart man. I have a guy. At the, I got the, I have a guy at the flea market that got me the Harry Potters and the Unikitties. Unikitties were a dollar fifty a piece, and then the Harry Potter were two dollars. So I was like, cool. He got me thirty packs of the HPs. I didn't get a full set. I have doubles. If anybody wants some. Maybe about to spit out of coffee on that one. Yeah, no doubt, man. I'll I'll take two dollar Harry Potter figs, randoms. Yeah. Have they already yeah, been just, there? We didn't pick through for whatever Percival or I well he um so last time we had series eighteen, uh he got me seventy packs. So me, Fick, and BR all split seventy packs. Um and I think it came out to like two dollars or two fifty a pack or something insane. Did, did, anybody got, get, did anybody get a policeman? Yeah, we got two police officers. Okay, okay, that's so non pick for. Well, yeah. So my my guy doesn't know Lego all that well, um, and I usually use him for my daughters because you know, for us who have kids, these little blind bag kid squishy things are like five, six dollars, sometimes ten dollars a pack. So my guy gets them and sells them to me three for five bucks. Oh, nice! Yeah, I'm I'm all over that. Talk to me after the right. show. I'm all I'm right. all I'm all over that. Right. Well, because, so because I don't have I don't have a minifigure guy anymore. We're not near the store. My Walmart doesn't get stuff in. They just they're toys, uh, and you know, with the two kids, even at the age they are right now, popping in the car and driving half an hour just to go to another Walmart or 45 to get to a Target is is unheard of. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So all I need to do is send him a picture of what I want and he'll order it from his mystery guy that he gets. And, and he, he hits. It's like weird. He hits every single time. You know, you know what it is. It's the crackheads can no longer go into the store and get the uh, get the, the medicine to make the meth with. So now they're just mm -hmm. getting minifigs. I'll, I'll, you know what? I, I will do uh, something special. I will post a picture of his stand at the flea market on Sunday when I go. <laughs> is it gonna be, is it gonna be that guy that uh, that sells fake Lego that we keep seeing? No. Uh, on... <laughs> No, he, like I said, he has the new. No, I'm, joking. I'm joking. I know he's not. I know he's not. No, but there is there is a flea market. There is a flea market by me that I go to that has big Lego banners, right? Like official mile. I don't know if they're mile or canvas. I guess they're canvas. It says Lego. Looks yeah. official. When you get up to a stand, it's not Lego. It's that at guy. All. It's that guy. It's that guy. Yes. It's that guy. Yeah. And he has, you know. Like, if you'll ask him, I'm like, are these fake Legos? He's like, no, we don't call them fake Lego. We call them custom. I'm like, so custom. That it, yeah. Custom and it's Lefo. Yeah, Lefo. Or Lego. So, you know. Or we'll just call them Legos. We're going to call them Legos. <laughs> Legos. Lego. Small, uh, no capital L, just the lowercase L. There's not the X on there. It's not, definitely not Lego. It's, they're Legos. So, yeah, so, you know, and it's like these guys that are pushing out these custom Legos still charging $5 a fig. So, you know, they're not cutting anybody any breaks. And, like, if you spend, if you buy, um, so it's $5 a fig. If you buy five, you get all five for 20. Big deal, you know, on these fake figs. But this, the guy yeah, that I deal with. It costs him 17 cents. Yeah, yeah, 10 cents, you know, whatever. Um, and then, uh, you know, so my guy, you just send him a picture of whatever you want and he gets it. 
he, you wait two weeks and he has it in. All right. So I need to get a picture of like six cases of Harry Potter <laughs> sealed, sealed for you. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, like, like current stuff. And I asked him, I said, do you, does your guy get like sets? Like, cause I know he gets CMFs and I know he gets poly bags. I was like, cause if he can get sets, hook me up, you know, give me his number. Or I'll give you a list or whatever. Yeah. But uh, I haven't, haven't, haven't heard much movement on that. I need to get uh, a lot. I need to get. A, I need just need to get a shitload of wands. Just, just the ones that come in the CMF packs. I need. I just need a lot of wands. I have a feeling that even the sprue. Like I'm gonna put the sprue into Bricklink, and I have a feeling that even the sprue will become an item that people are able to use. Well, I saw somebody actually using that for um, a fence right. fencing. Right, there's a, there's a bunch of people that have used it as an element where it's coming together, but I think this is going to be one of those elements that even just the waste itself is going to be a buildable element. What do you think the value is, market value on that? Oh, three cents. Three cents, okay. Like That's a not bad. Most people are... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Phil. Sorry, I'm taking off. It looks like a boat anchor, kind of, way you're holding. Yeah. Or a crossbow. Crossbow. Um, but I mean, in the world, in the world of where it's pennies for a piece, three cents, that's not really anything that bad. Um, as things accumulate, even also like the ring for the uh, the infinity gems, that's another buildable piece right there. That's true. So, you know, you know that gun that came in with the Dino Hunter, the CMF Dino Hunter that has the um, on top. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it could go on top? Now, this not on top. Now, not on top. Okay. Maybe uh, it, it, this section right here might be able to get it in there. Okay. But I mean, they're gonna—they're coming out with what is it, Overwatch or? Yeah. <laughs> You'll have your selection of guns. I wish they—I wish they would just do brickheads. Do you think it's just gonna be brickheads? Do you think it's gonna be like an actual, like set set? I think it's going to be an actual set set. I think they're going to have CMFs. I think they're going to be this this whole thing with Unikitty, uh, where now you have a sub CMF series. Because this is a CMF series, right? Unikitty is yep. a CMF series. So you're supposed to be collecting the, the poop out of it, just like everything else. Yeah. Whether you like it or not. Um, Except it, it is labeled series one, though. Not right. like. So I, think it's, I think it's going to be like a Mixel. But they're also labeled out as being CMFs. So I guess I'm just going to have to buy it. Collect them. <laughs> hey, look. I don't, I got, no, got... I, I don't want to get into the, I don't want to get into the factor where it is. Cause I like, I'm missing three of the, uh, the Simpsons series two. I'm missing mm -hmm. a whole bunch of the, uh, the, the British Olympics. Yeah. Uh, I just don't want to find myself in that position. I could probably go rebuild all of the Simpsons figs that I don't have in my collection. Yeah, the problem with the problem with Unikitty is they're double bag. Yeah. They're so you can't even I tried filling it at the flea market last Sunday and I could not. I could not, you know. You gotta get like Matt's mocks and be able to feel colors. It's all right. My guy opened up all the packs that he had, so I just picked what I needed. So <laughs> Yeah, he's like, why don't we open them? I'm like, are you sure? He's like, oh, I don't care. I'm going to sell them anyway. So just open them, pick yeah, what I you want. Display models, anyways, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was just, he was cool with it. So I was like, okay, great. Yeah, there's that's a little spare parts factory. That those little sets have uh, have quite a bit in them as far as spares. And the I think the greatest the greatest element out of the whole thing is the cloud bases. Yeah, yeah, they are. I'm a, I'm a big fan of those. I wish that I wish that they would put those just into one or two sets, so that they'd be more widespread, and the Europeans would be able to get them in mass. Have you seen the uh, new Powerpuff Girls sets? They just arrived at my Target. Uh, I saw it yesterday for the first time. Yeah, my Walmart yesterday had them. They uh. They got like three or four different ones on the shelf. Mm -hmm. I just want Mojo Jojo. That's all. I, that's all I want. I just want the monkey, the bad guy. That's all. Oh, hold on. 
Tenfoot just reserved something for me in his store because I said something about probably the Harry Potter polys. Oh yeah, you don't have to reserve any for me, man. I'll find it with my kids. That's all right. I was gonna say it's gonna be a <laughs> I, I appreciate that. I, I, that was really cool. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Big B, all you need to do is look on Bricklink to finish off your mini fit collection. Thanks, man. I I'll have to take that advice. Um, I've actually been building out the Olympics guys piece by piece. So as I find a store that's got a piece of one of the things that I need, I buy all that they have, take my one out, and put the rest in my store. Hmm. What's the rare element in that? The um, the medals? I haven't gotten any medals yet, I, but I don't know how. I guess that's a buildable piece as well for city builders. I can see it. Greebling along a, an upper edge. Mm -hmm. Something like that. So we're still yeah. awaiting the uh we're still awaiting on Mr. Fickenbricks to come in. Right? <laughs> He's a slacker. That's all right. He is. Uh there's also an invite out to um Minifig Dreams, who I contacted before the show to come on. He's having a fun time with that auction as well. Yes. It was good to I'm glad I found somebody I can play with. Mm -hmm. Somebody who somebody who gets these things. So he is, I, he's the magic man. I don't. Have you ever follow him on Instagram? I don't know where he gets his lots. I mean, he's just I, pulled. I, I don't like, know. I don't know either. He would. He 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 asked me a couple early, uh, Bricklink questions, like what is five hundred x following, uh, one of these things? Does it mean I have to buy five hundred? Oh, never mind. I figured it out. I just bought five hundred. Like very quick learner. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean his recent post, I think he pulled like or got like fifty or so cause like like I'm just like, all right, dude, I don't know where he got all those from, but share the love. I need just need one. There's need. there's there's places. I mean all you have to do is follow it. I've I've had a couple conversations with some of the the bigger stores out in Europa and you know, they don't tell me where they're getting it or anything like that. But I mean, just his comments or her comments were just like, he, 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 wait till you see what I'm pulling out next. Like, we're parting out. It was like, you know, 50 Legorados. Like, why would you be parting out a Legorado? And it's just like, it drives more business to the store. That breaks my heart. I'm more of a Lego set purist. I need, I can't break up figs to a set. I can't break up a set if I have it complete. So you're one of the ones that just hates on me when I go full Monty on a CMF and start ripping the rented the ripping the printed arms off of it. No, no, because you guys are a necessity. Because if I do a bulk lot and I'm missing a piece, I go right to Bricklink. So that's you know, it's an, I think Bricklink serves a serves the community well. That's that's all. Straight from the <laughs> I mean, I don't hate on food for collecting every pie bag in uh, Philly Brickfast territory when he comes to Philly. <laughs> and I break every train shed I see. That's right. That's right. All right. Levels. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't hate on anyone for doing what they do. I mean, you know. There's enough Lego to go around. All right, hopefully I got a little boost in my volume. I was told that my, my volume was low. You sound louder now. You're good. Am I really loud now? Oh, you're fine. You're about okay, all right. I just went up 10 whole decibels. <laughs> Sweet. There's a... We're getting high tech over here. There you go. Look at this right here. Oh. <laughs> Boom mic. Got a dead cat. <laughs> Got a dead cat. Dead cat sitting in front of me during the whole video. That's uh, a dead unit kitty, man. That was a missed opportunity. <laughs> so, Fu, what are you what are you selling the most of right now? Right now, uh, train track. Okay. I sold a lot of nine volt or, or, or RC. RC. Okay. Nine volts impossible to get. Anytime I do get it, it's gone. My lug wants it. So. And stuff. <laughs> Flower stems. I may, I may have some that I could part with. Flower stems are uh, good as well. Okay. I know you fill up pick a brick. I think, what'd you get? Four last time I saw you? Oh, yeah. 
It was four and a half cups. <laughs> Insane. They just brought out the case. And I'm just mashing them in there because they're kind of rubbery. So you yeah. Throw them down there. Did you ever count how much you can fit in a pickup or cup, like a big pickup or cup? You probably go insane, probably counting those. I'd, I'd like to know the difference between uh, a mashed and a non-mashed. <laughs> oh, you know, I might do that the next time I go because I've got them in my uh, my center as well. My hey, center. You gotta yeah, I got twenty cups last time I went to my center. So, do they they got to know you, right? They they do now. They do now. Uh, okay. Because the, I went in there before. I went in the. I've been in there a number of times, and uh, I mean, they're not a. They're not a Lego store. They're a. They 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 call themselves a gift store for a, a Lego amusement park. Um. But they know me now. Uh, I always buy a lot of <laughs> stuff. But uh, they know me because they dropped a bunch of pick a brick cups that I had packed uh, all over the floor after I had paid for them. And then they started sweeping them up and like, we're going to give them to me. And I was like, I oh, no, no, That's like, it's all full of rat poop now. Uh, and they <laughs> laughed because they're right across from the, the, the food court. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah. They understand. get some, get some extra critters. I had that done to me once. So I picked up a bulk lot at the flea market. Should I open it out uh, outside? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, after the 20 cups of the last time they know me. Yeah, last time I got flower stems was in Asia. And I bought okay. four kilos of flower stems. <laughs> he was packing bricks. They got stopped at customs. <laughs> Even the airport. What do you have with you? Four kilos of grass, sir. <laughs> That's right. And it was, the funny thing is they didn't even bat an eye at it. I went through customs or three times and no problem. I was on a cruise and my friend brought a uh, box of Cuban cigars and he was so nervous about going through customs when we landed. This was way back. This was way back that he gave out all the cigars and kept only two for himself. And then they customs didn't even check us. I was like, dude, you just wasted like 200 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I used to fly in and out when I was in the service. I mean, my, uh, my, my goal leading up to things was like, all right, after I get my doctorate, I'll get my doctorate in philosophy, and then uh, I will open up a bar, and it'll be great. And while I'm in the service, as I'm traveling the world, um, I'll buy these rare bottles of liquor, and you know, I'll be I'll be ready to stocked up for this bar. And in the meantime, I'll have all these really awesome liquor uh, to drink, and then I quit drinking. Um, so. Do you still have the bottles now, or are they gone? We brought a bunch to Philly. Oh, okay. There that's you go. Where, yeah, that's, where all the, <laughs> that's where all the liquor... I remember that, kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> he remembers the grass, yeah. but not the alcohol. <laughs> I remember what he remembers. <laughs> oh, you're drinking tequila in the, in the AM. Yep. In the AM. In the we, we, set up a, we set up a shanty town. That's fine. Uh, that was fun. So though. That was fun. Doing, those, those, doing the videos for those were fun. Um, <laughs> and then we, I don't know if you, well, we had a bunch of T Fall parents come and join us as we were doing shots. Hey, man. It's all about the, the love. So, so I don't know if you, you caught the stream on Sunday, but we were talking about Brick Fair, Virginia, which was, I think, last weekend. Uh, and that Lego set up a booth. As a vendor, because it was a, I guess, I guess technically it was a Lego sponsored event. Yeah. So they set up a uh, retail store on the floor with the other vendors. Yeah, I was watching. Uh, I was actually watching the guy who was doing that his Instagram feed as they were setting it up. It's pretty cool. They do that. The Lego sets up as a vendor mm -hmm. at a couple of different shows around the world, where they're an actual vendor, where they bring in and set up an entire store in it. Uh, they do it at SDCC as well. They do it at the New York Toy Fair. Yeah. Because they have their own, uh, they're showing off, I guess, the goods, I guess. Yeah. Have you guys seen an influx of uh, uh, Toys R Us displays in your area? No. No? It's strange. I've been seeing uh, Toys R Us displays everywhere. I actually picked up one 
the you, other you day. Look at, you look for different things. Like you're totally on a whole nother range of what you look for compared to me, though. You know what it is? I, I can't. I don't have room to collect the the regular sets that come out. You know, that's why I'm going off of the one offs or the you know rare display pieces. I guess. I you know I I can't you know. My whole back bedroom is a wall. Like I don't have a window there anymore because it's just Lego sets, and my garage is packed. Like I already started stocking up stuff for Philly 2019. Like you know, when you do that, that's okay. It's all right that that's being done. Yeah, okay. I just gotta find time to complete the sets and bag it up and tag it and do whatever I gotta do. I think it's how did it work out this year with, I mean, you sort of gathered through the entire year and then once Philly rolls around, like it was, I'm sure at your house, like just a bum rush to complete all of these sets and then get them loaded. Yeah. It was about um, six months, six months before the event. I know I had some stuff put together already. So that, you know, like most of the build stuff was already put together. I just needed to find a piece here, a piece there. Typically it was four months, four hours a night, just going through bins and putting together sets. I think for the next year, I'm going to suggest pallets. Yeah. Not like, not like full on like professional pallets. I'm, I'm talking like shantytown type pallets. Like just get some old pallets from behind the grocery store, set them up in the garage, build up your sets on like a trailer so little little carry behind trailer and then when you get to the philly there'll actually be a forklift at philly so you won't have to worry about the, the forking part all the all the hard work of getting it off the trailer and into philly will be done with the forklift and then you just got this crappy you know pallet that you can just toss away yeah i don't know i don't i tell you the truth i don't know if i'm going to be able to do what i did last year with, with that the was size. Just, I mean, you did. There was there was not that much room that was available inside that van. No, no. But I, it was three car trips, three and a half car trips with Fick. I borrowed Fick's truck when he came up, and I mean, I had five and a half tables worth of stuff. That was fun. I I enjoy it. I just enjoy it. I enjoy you know all the camaraderie. I love the kids trying to haggle. The kids were, I had this one kid staring me down. It was great. I was like, I was like, dude, you got it. Just, just go ahead. You want the set for five bucks? Dude, go, just take it. I know it's a $30 set. You can have it for five bucks. Like, you know, and he was like, so excited. I was like, I don't even know what I paid for it. Tell you the truth. Yeah. But, you know, so now it's you, just fun you don't really, when you're doing that though, you don't get hit by the stores though, right? No. No, most of that stuff was either local sales or flea market. Yeah, you know, I just a lot. Of, some of the sets came from my friend who just wanted the oh, many no, figures no, no, no. out. Uh, so like Evan doesn't come over and like swoop you. No, because he's he's looking for the um, the sealed sets, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I explained to him that there is a market for used stuff, but he just doesn't want to deal with it. So yeah, I, like, I, I can I can understand that. Yeah, I can understand that, and uh, I'm like, all right, well, I'm happy to do whatever. Um, but yeah, it works for me. Um, I'm happy to, you know, some of the some of the larger sets he he'll put on like eBay, you know, because that's definitely the market for it. The, just the range, you get a range of people looking for that one particular set, and they're always looking to. I guess they're looking to pay a little bit more just because of the uh, how much people it reaches. Because eBay, you know, reaches a lot of people. Yeah, it's global. I ship stuff overseas all the time on eBay. I gotta start selling stuff on there. I can't. eBay makes it easy. I am really bad. I gotta. I, I gotta get on all of these alternate selling venue places. Yep, you got to get on it, man. Uh oh. I just had a mention of Brainy Rick somewhere. Ah. So, um, 
We two mentions. Of, so we had a two mentions. Of, I'm just checking from Brainy Rex. Uh, Brainy's going to be doing a, uh, a little special help with me on streaming, and we're going to be getting you some vastly improved um, look and feel of the streams here. One times. He's uh, yeah, we're moving along with the times. We're 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 modernizing stuff. I figure. I mean, I've gotten to the point now where I actually have a real microphone. I have a logo. Uh, I've got some crazy light that's that's projecting on me the entire time. That I've got to start, and I've got Premiere, so I've got to start actually using that stuff. Yeah, we'll get there one day at a time. One day at a time. First off, new schedule. Guys in the chat, let us know what you think about Tuesday nights instead of Sunday. Also, I uh, posted a link to Zarek's GoFundMe with Kittenville. Still hoping on Kittenville to be able to pop in here. But 100% uh, of the proceeds from Pollen and Ballin's auction that's currently up will be going towards. Uh, oh, somebody sent some message. We'll be going towards Zarek's, uh, the GoFundMe for Zarek. Yeah, please donate if you can. Links in the chat. Yep. Every dollar helps, I'm sure. Every little bit helps these guys. I myself are going to contribute right after the stream. We lost two are you able to join or not? It'd be great if you would be able to. Uh, I know that he and I spoke a little bit about it during the fourth anniversary of the uh, Larry Community Saturday stream. Welcome, sir. I'm happy to help. Saying, responding to Kittenville in the chat. All right. Uh, what should we chat about? What are you parting out? I do. We're still freaking doing those brick heads. Still? <laughs> still working the brick heads. Uh, I just got 22 Dimension starters done. Those are in the store. And, and, uh, next. and you were able to ditch off the... Um, the player and the disc as a set together, right? Yeah, for the Xbox One, I was able to move all the bases and uh, sealed game disc as a package. Um, I haven't sold any of the others yet, but they are listed. I've got Wii and PS4 and Xbox 360 still. Nice. Um, I know there's people out there that are like, maybe I should sit on all of those Dimension packages. That I have because they're going to be like an Atari 2600 in 10 years. Do those people say go for it? Please do. Uh, that'll help me whenever I get around to posting mine because yours will not be on the market for and I'll be able to sell mine. I'm happy to say that the uh, Supergirl Polys, those went fast for crazy money. I had five, and they sold out within a week. So thirty-five, thirty-five dollars a piece. God. Thirty-six, actually. All you guys able to chase and get all these deals all have one thing in common, man. Time. No kids. Yeah. Oh yeah. That too. And, and no kids. Everybody I say who's like, I got this. I got. I traveled all over the city. No kids. Cheap ass has got time. I got, I got, I have a very forgiving wife. Well, she probably gets happy with that stack of cash that comes home from Philly. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, yeah. man, next Philly, you need to take a credit card reader. I am. No, I definitely am. I'm going to get a, one of those squ Square or PayPal. I know PayPal has a service too. So, yeah, Square definitely has am. those chip. Yeah. I, 
It was insane how many people were like, do you take credit cards? You're like, heck yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I take everything now. So come on, let's go. Say no, but PayPal does. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said. I mean, PayPal is so easy, but it's all right. I mean, you know. Even I had people who bought public bags from me with credit card on PayPal. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it's great. I don't have to go to the bank. I want to deposit it. It's already done. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very good, especially with uh, my daughter's school going up per month of the way it is. <laughs> so, oh, you got her in, uh, you're in private school? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Philadelphia Public School is 32 kids per one teacher. Yeah, I got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Yeah, this is 16 per one. So right there you know yeah we, we chose this area specifically for the district like we moved cross country to this neighborhood for this school district yeah it makes it, you know it makes a big difference it does oh it, it does i mean my son went through an entire year of first grade and did not have a knife pulled on him where in kindergarten he did so, really yeah <laughs> That was that was my deciding factor of yes. Whatever yeah, they, I think whatever they say as far as a job, let's take it because the store is ready to pack up and go. You know, I can retire at this point. We're at that point. If you get a job offer out out east, let's take it. All right. If yeah, had, that would have been my deciding factor as well. <laughs> if we had, if we had waited a month and a half, uh, she would have she received an offer from Cornell. So. That's the only thing. We rushed it, and we would have gotten the dream dream, but right. we're pretty close. Hey, man. Yeah. It's all that counts. Well, Pumpkin's checking in with uh, 2017 Disney Princess and DC Girls sale at Walgreens. Yep. Saw that. Walgreens always has they... good ones. I can't believe they didn't sell as well as they did the uh, DC girls. I'm going to uh, <laughs> I, th I don't know about that, man. I still don't. I'm still not a fan mm -hmm. of the the body style of that fig. Gotcha. I'm I'm over it a bit. I'm over it a lot more than I used to be. Fun. A lot more than I used to be. I used to go on outright rants about them, uh, but. I didn't follow the story. I didn't understand the storyline at all. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I didn't understand how they were all friends. Like these were sworn enemies. <laughs> you know, why are they in school? Yeah, yeah just a bunch of uh, high school girls. <laughs> it's a most, whatever. I mean, it's one. It's one of the shows that my kids don't even watch yet. So. I gotcha. I mean, I the have, friend sets are coming out with some really neat sets now. Friends are friends are top notch, and elves are. I like elves a lot as well. I'm I'm a fan of friends. I'm a fan fan of elves. You know, we stopped pulling the figs out of the sets and replacing them with mini figures. Especially if you have that lime green dragon. So what's what's the deal with the lime green dragon? It's the one set that. Nobody, I guess, wanted or wasn't. I showed you what the brick like average on that one is, on that one set sealed. It's yeah, it was ridiculous, and it's just it's one of those sets that nobody wanted, and uh, now that it's retired, can't find it. Uh, you I know, know, I should go look to see if I have any right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I, um, I had a local seller have had one sealed for thirty bucks, and I missed it, and I was really annoyed because I, I, <laughs> I really want that one set. So if anybody out there has a lime green dragon, hold on to it. I'm looking for one for you and your daughter right now, man. You have a set number. You know what? Top your head. Uh, I think it's like four one one seven 
five, I want to say. Seven, five, seven, four, something like that. I may be wrong. See, seven, five seems to be the lion. All right. Okay. Uh, I am incorrect. The fire dragon, maybe. Yeah, that's got the yellow dragon in it. Here's one. But I'll keep it moving for you. Yeah, it's like the first series, first release of first or first line, I guess. Starlight in? No. Uh... Yeah, I think that's it. I got the purple one. Starlight in doesn't have the uh dragon. I would look up the set number, but I, I am driving. <laughs> Let me keep that number. Uh, I think I got it. <clears throat> Nocturus Tower. Is that it? Got a green dragon in it, buildable. Yeah, is that. And then the dragon that I'm talking about has like a. Um, I want to say it has a um, treasure chest. Yeah, it's not. It's not, it's not the Dragon Tower one was, I think, the second generation of dragons. Is it second? If it's if it's the one that's uh, went on sale recently, where it had the the set was primarily like a a lime green um, and black. Yeah, I'll get the uh, I'll get the set number. Hold on. I got it. Um, thanks, mini fake collectors. Four one one seven six. There you go. Yeah. I know it was a four one. I know it was a four one one seven something. It's got a treasure chest on its back. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, look at the look at the break link average on that bad boy. Money. Everybody's trying to build, be a good dad, get dragons <laughs> for their daughters. I get it. Yeah. Huh? I totally get it, man. You bucks. know what the one she really likes though is the queen white dragon, that big one. She loves yeah. that one. You already have it though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Nike is hundred dollars average. I got, the, I got the blue one. Yeah, it's crazy. Cheapest one in the United States is ninety bucks. Yeah, I mean, still. Uh, oh, it's the school of dragons. It's four one one seven six weeks. I don't know if that's me. <clears throat> first, by the way, don't even look there. What is it? It's four one one seven seven six. Seven, six. Cheapest one on eBay, two hundred and eighty bucks. Yeah, man. I tell you, that's what. There's one at auction. You got one for forty eight. Uh -huh. well, I'm glad I got one for my kid. Oh, yeah. It's like crazy. All right, I'm gonna see if there's any in my area. Stand by. I also I also wouldn't have told him that it even existed, so. <laughs> it's all right. I'm, I'm at the age where my, I have a lot more control over the information that my kids have knowledge of. E yeah. Yeah, my your kids do the YouTube YouTube videos and things of that nature, or they 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 uh, so they watch them with their friends. I've had to explain to my son recently that. Even though he's in videos with me, that my channel isn't okay mm -hmm. for his friends to watch. Like that, he can watch videos on my channel that he's mm -hmm. in with me, but he and his friends shouldn't be watching videos that he and his sister are not in. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you reminded me about that. Uh, about that friend set. I got to look for that. All right, so I, I will scout for more. I yeah, it's in my. For you. Yeah, that's fine. Don't don't go nuts. Like I said, it's just one of those uh, sets that I have in the back of my mind that if I come over, I'm it, all I'm over the place. I've got I got seven four seven five. I just found seven seven. <laughs> so this is this was in a range where we were shopping this theme, where this theme was coming in heavy to scratch and dent. So. Yeah, I got you. I'll look for you. I don't think we've done any of those. It might not be in a box. It might just be bag only, but if I got it, it's yours. 
Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Oh, you've been my savior on getting my trains, so. Hey, man. I uh, am happy to help. I maybe have a, a Horizon train up for sale soon. Oh, nice. That orange and, orange and black one that I love. I love that train. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe picking up a Ninjago display on Sunday. I just picked up that city one. And uh, did you ever see the video that I had with... Um, I got the... the the four statues. I got the three statues and the shampoo bottle. Uh, I remember the shampoo bottle discussion. Okay. So one of the one of the I, I found uh, there's a group there's a group on uh, Facebook called the NFLs of uh, Facebook, and I sent one of the people that always comments on people's stuff a picture of the beef eater. Uh, you know the. British guard that I had the the statue. Yeah, I think that I think that that's um, I think we're not supposed to call him a beef eater anymore. I think that that's yeah. I think that's a bad thing if we call him that. Well, I'll say British soldier. British soldier with funny hat is is a there lot more go. appropriate than a beef eater. So we won't be disparaging to our British viewers. That's fine. I'm sorry also about British, that. British also British viewers, uh, let me know if I'm full of shit. <laughs> uh, I found out that it was a gift given to an employee that worked for the Lego group for their 10 years of service. Oh, nice. Yeah. There, um, apparently it came with like a, a wooden plaque and like a little, little like bronze plaque that said their name on it. And then it said like something to the effect of thank you for your 10 years of service. So, do you follow on Instagram? Instagram is like Oakenfold Blankenship. I think I do. Uh, I think it's this dude who's out of the Pittsburgh area. He's with Steel City, but he's just got like a ridiculous amount of everything that's HTF, like HTF, HTF. Not like not like your elves dragon, like you know. There's ten of them in the world, type stuff. Right. Yeah, no, I I have to check to see. I would probably be, be very jealous <laughs> just because some of that stuff is, like, crazy. He, he's had builds that were only in the magazines that had never been released to the public. Really? Like, prototype stuff, huh? Yeah, crazy protos. Like... That's cool. We did these for a photo shoot, and it was never approved. It was in a photo shoot in this weird magazine, and that's it. Like the uh, Ninjago train, the <laughs> Ninjago speed train. There's a Ninjago train. Yeah, do you, did you ever see the prototype picture of that? Just from the movie. Yeah, there's a. Apparently, they were going to release a Ninjago snake train. Where like the head of the snake was the engine, and then the rest of the cars were the snake's body. Oh man! And they there there's pictures of it out there, but it was never released. And it looked really cool. Like re that that is really cool, but it, uh, it was never released to the general public. Or like the or like the underwater uh, monorail that was only in a magazine. That was only in my dreams. Shut that up. <laughs> no, it, there's pictures of it. It's, uh, it's like a yellow with some white and red accents. Oh man. Yeah. yeah that's the kind of stuff like. You know, it's got to be sitting somewhere in a warehouse that people think it's like trash or whatever because it was never in, official. In the, in the old days of Lego, when it was all about, you know, like a million different colors and molds and a whole mm -hmm. lot of, you know, illicit Colombian mixed in with it. There, they had to make all of these sets for all these crazy magazines that were advertising because Lego was just the rage. And then they never did anything with these models. They yes. never put them out there, but they, they came up with these prototypes and they put them in the magazines. And they actually had 
you know, boxes designed for them and everything else. Mm -hmm. I, I imagine a room like the end of Indiana Jones that just stacks on stacks of boxes, just wooden crates of nothing but Lego just sitting somewhere in a warehouse, unmarked warehouse, which is numbers. <laughs> Whereas I'm, I'm the guy who's just happy to get a couple of those pieces that have rolled out, you know, and, and be able to just touch them and then spread the love to other people. You're going after those sets. So that's why I figured that this guy would be right down your alley because he's got like classic space sets that were never rolled out. Yeah, I mean, uh, Bricks on the Dollar two years ago had a bunch of classic space sets, and some of the classic space sets were unreleased prototypes. Hot Lego. Not Hot Lego, just person that was in the right place at the right time, you know. Maybe was a fan of Lego working for the advertising agency. The advertising agency got sent these sets for the photo shoot. There may not have been a proper paper trail to get the, the sets back to Lego. Maybe it wasn't a consideration. Maybe they were supposed to be destroyed. And the advertising agency considered the destruction of it being taken the thing apart. You know. Welcome this to is how things ha these, are, these are how things happen. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to my computer. I'll hop back on. All right, thank you. So with us tonight we have Mr. Kittenville. How are you, Kittenville? You've been on a couple of streams with me so far. You were part of the 250k challenge with us. You um, currently have a very interesting setup rolling with your Bricklink store that I really would love to discuss with you in the future of uh, how you've done a mobile bricklink store are you there okay yeah, yeah you, and now you're there too awesome cool. i didn't want to make the rookie mistake of having all the audio going at the same time that's all right that's all right it's all fun. We, 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 still, we can still go fun here and go off the rails <laughs> um so you and i have discussed what you're doing, we I've never we've never done or had the time to do the full on. This is what I've done with my Brickling store for my situation. Although you and I have discussed it at length through email, I've always wanted to figure out a way to to present it. Um, yeah, we are trying to do pre-records on a lot of these shows now, um, and if you have the ability to have a mobile camera and show us your your setup sometime in the future where we can do a pre-record. I've also got a video of, uh, I was going to think about uploading that I took a video of all the cases that I brought with me and where they're all at up here in the unit. Well, just um, explain to people really quick, like just briefly, briefly what you've done so they get an understanding um, if you have a couple pictures, you might want to splash them up there. The ones that you had sent me or something like that. And then also, if you're going through, you can talk about, uh, you talk about Zarek. Okay. Well, what I've briefly done, uh, since we've had started this, uh, journey, we've had to come up here to St. Jude's. Um, I had all my Lego and Stanley cases, uh, the, uh, 20 bin, uh, 20 part bins. And, um, before, uh, we knew what was going on and I was able to go over there and put all my Stanley cases in the back of my truck and bring them up here to Memphis with me and basically have a mobile Bricklink store. And I think I got pretty close to 17,000 pieces sitting over here. Is that brief enough or keep going? Okay. Well, you've got these, you got 17,000 pieces. I mean, 17,000 lots, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, pieces, excuse me. Yeah. Um, that you're able, individual elements, not individual yeah. lots, that you are able to load up and unload on a nightly basis with minimal shifting. Yeah. Like you've, you actually had to go through the process of, so when I moved, I, I was just like, it's going to happen. Like there's no way to prevent this from happening. You actually, so each night you unload the truck. 
Uh, no, I uh, once I got here and I found out there was room on top of my cabinets, uh, I just brought everything in and stuck on top of the cabinets. So I've got a uh, lot. I uh, mean, uh, lots one through uh, cases one through uh, 26 or 27 in the uh, bedroom on top of those two cabinets and then uh, 27 or whatever through 80 is on top of these cabinets in the living room and the uh, through the kitchen and the entryway. And this is like in the, in the little apartment thing that they have at the home that you guys are staying in while Zark's receiving yeah. treatments. Yep. And all my eBay items non Lego are back behind me and uh, another 20 K uh, uh, another 20 totes. So I was able to slide the couch out two feet and it didn't, it didn't approach on the uh, family room at all, you know, very little. So you've literally packed up and have figured out a way to, m to mobilize everything. Yes. <laughs> That's what being a micromanagement specialist does. Yes. <laughs> and how have things been so far as far as sales? What's the name of your Bricklink store? So everybody Kinville. in the... Kinville uh, Brick. You want to type a link to it in the chat? Uh, see if I get... Yep. Uh, see, type a link in there. Also, uh, just so you guys know, Kinville also has like a daily posting of, of uh, personal inspiration on his Instagram and also on his YouTube channel. Just uh, like I said, like his, his family sort of was, uh, you guys are going down a rough road and then got hit by a brick. Yes. And one of those fake bricks that nobody likes. <laughs> the, the ones people used to mail the, the power company bricks. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm trying to get the store link up. I just want to say in the meantime, I shot you a donation there, Kittenville. Oh, I sure do appreciate it, sir. It means so oh. much, everybody. You're not far uh, from here in Memphis. I'm here in Atlanta. so. Yeah. We used to drive down the 78, I think is what it was, uh, through Elvis Presley Boulevard to get, get to Atlanta. Yep. Uh, whenever I used to drive truck. But, uh, if folks in the chat would be interested on a future episode of the seller stream, if you guys want to see a mobile setup um, and we can talk getting into it, how he does the loading and unloading process and stuff like that, um, let us know if that's something you guys would be interested in. It would definitely be a pre record for him. So he would be able to do it during, you know, good daylight hours. We plan around the weather and all that. But if that's something that people want to see, uh, let us know. Mr. Cheap, how are you? Going on. I'm going on. A little bit of better setting instead of sitting in my car outside of my house. You've got all those beautiful ships behind you. I know. I know. Actually, uh, I will be having a Black Sea Barracuda come up on uh, Flash Auction soon. If anybody's interested. Yeah. Missing my uh, Queen Anne. But. Yeah, I like it. I'm glad that I didn't get into ships. I like them a lot. <laughs> you can very easily. Just got to DM me. <laughs> uh, the thing is, is, I've got a big bag full of sails. Uh, who needs sails? I got whole ships for you. Well, I, I, I enjoy bricking things together. I understand how people like to you, piece things I together. For you. So. I, can break trains, I, want the, I want the instant gratification with trains. I'll be, I'll be perfectly honest right there. Uh, but with a boat or something like that, I would want I would want to be able to to build that. Um, the one the one boat I have did come from you. So you got. I don't know if you can see the cactus up there on top of the shelves. Yep. <coughs> That's my problem. I'm not organized at all. He's got to be. So would you want to see something like that cheap just to get an experience of how he loads that stuff and keeps it organized? <laughs> I know a lot of people are going for different organization uh, solutions. And there's, even though you're not a, a part seller, you're a used set seller, you still yeah. have some organization that has to happen. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, of course. Um, not as organized as I, as I am right now. Uh, it's broken down by color. That's you know my use my my miscellaneous pieces are by color. I have a bin for trains, train pieces. Um, my train track is somewhat organized, I guess. Those three bins right there are train track. So that's all. That's all packed already. One key word about starting an organization is this thing called brick stock yep. once you start on brick stock and you start putting things where they need to go you're pretty much there yeah everybody's using brick set and rebrickable but the thing is with brick stock is you you hold your own information and i'm a big fan of holding my own information and mm -hmm. also, you can put notes in there and stuff like that. And you I, just, I just redid wow. my Rebrickable and uploaded my stuff and became like the third biggest user of Rebrickable. Yeah. You can go there and part out your sets and before you part them out and basically have a file, then later on after you have put them all away, you could upload them into your uh, Brick Link and Brick Owl. That's one nice thing about having Brick Stock. There you go, cheap. There you go. If you ever need to, to complete some stuff for your sets, I've got a lot of the, the elements that would be considered under plastic and also under cloth. But there's a there's an inch plus worth of sales here. Yeah, there is. I see you have some Java sales back there. Yeah, new. No, I, even have, I even have some element, uh, an elephant off ah, i got you for the uh, orient express yeah set. is anybody ever looking to complete that set i would think so yeah because the elephant is itself is yeah those uh, the, if though that series right there had it had the uh the onion top roofs mm -hmm. yep yep highly sought after pieces yep. mm -hmm. uh the dark have, blue pylons didn't they have the dark, didn't they have the dark blue uh, pylons for the scorpion castle yes scorpion palace the the two by two by seven one or two yeah, by two yeah. by elevens yeah um and then the, the elephants like yeah ears i need elephant ears i understand you yes <laughs> the only piece, right. other than the tail and the nose that's the only thing that's really ever missing from ever anytime i find an elephant i've got tails and noses Okay. I don't. I don't have ears. It's so weird. Anytime you find a bulk bin, you always find the same sets. They're always missing the same pieces. I'm told it was because uh, the way that it went in there, it was very easy to break it off at the at the stud at the bar. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing really to catch it too, because it's just a straight. Yeah, there's no there's no lip or even ridge that goes around the top to cushion a little bit of blow. Yeah. I gotcha. These okay. are all left over from these are all left over from my very very early days of Bricklink, <laughs> when I was just going into a store and like I'd have an interest in rebuilding an old set, and I'd be like, "Oh, look at all the cloth pieces they have. Let me just buy all of the cloth pieces they have, and you know I'm gonna rebuild all these sets." Ah. Yeah. Well, especially with the old sales. I mean, like even that, like this one. I don't know if you can see it, but. <clears throat> old schooner like i don't i don't think these sales are supposed to be this brown i really don't <laughs> but i, I kind of like it because you know i bought it from somebody who had it in their collection from when they were a kid so you know like the stain here like that's cool that's cool to me like it has a story i got it has age yeah like yeah. i've got you can take like this one just recent collection because you're a beer ship guy, I don't do ships, so I don't know these things. I don't know the the etiquette for cloth stuff that you usually associate with it. I don't even put something like this in the store for sale, not because of the wrinkling, because the wrinkling can be handled with a little misting of water in a hot iron. Yeah. Um, but this right up here on the top, it's got the watermark, and mm -hmm. like, I don't know how to get that stuff out. I'm very weary of these older cloth pieces because I've been burned so many times by the um, 
the ultra fanatic. You know, mm -hmm. the people that are just like, I don't need head type B, I need head type C. And you're like, well, Lego came there. Both of them were out there just because Bricklink says it has C. You know, I've yeah. heard out sets where it has B. Well, it, Bricklink only says this, so. So that's a Bricklink labeling. That is not a Lego. Not necessarily, no. Okay. There's some things, there's some things like CMFs always come with a certain style of head when they're in the blind bag, but by the time they make it to the bricks and pieces table, that may have changed. Gotcha. Different factory, different stock, different time of the year, different time of the decade, whatever. You know. Yeah. Different time probably would be the best advice. The, one, it's the second Monday of the third month. Yeah, well, no, like they they could have they could have had some sort of thing going on in Eastern Europe, and they needed a print done on the double, so they went to the Czech factory to pump out you know like five hundred of them or whatever, or whatever the minimum run might be. Um, instead of them coming in the Czech factory, and then it goes to the Lego store or whatever, how this magic Lego comes out and hits the market. You know, it can't all be it can't all be like you know somebody put it in their pockets. You guys got to talk amongst yourselves. I got to take this call. Okay. Alrighty. This is really rude and unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Food Bricks, can I go ahead and show my shirts? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, if you want to pull it up on, you know, do screen sharing and just, you know. Okay, that's wrong. I'm... Your share. Hey, it's okay. me again. Go to Amazon. Hey, <clears throat> I'm gonna see. All right. Basically, uh, on Amazon, if you go up the Z Strong line, I've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six shirts. Um, see here. This shirt. I see. I've got three different designs. I think's what it is. There's some ruckus going on in the other room. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this one is uh, Peace, Love, Hope, Kittenville Brick. Cancer is not a child's toy. Let's see here. Uh, no fake brick. I'm going to redo this because I was looking at the thing and uh, that Pepto Bismol Pink uh, kind of, I don't know, may be obscure to some people. All right, here it is. I don't know if you can see that up there. No room for fake bricks. And it's got the uh, Z Strong bricks over on the right hand side and the uh, uh, the cancer brick on the uh, left hand side. And then one I've done of my baby uh, Z Strong, uh, the Thunder. We've got the Bringing the Lightning. All right, I'm back. It says Bringing the Lightning and the Thunder. Z strong and all these are available up on Amazon then we've got uh, just the basic T the Z strong T also without any mumbo jumbo are you gonna bring it up for anybody who's interested in the chat I've got a link over here to the uh T-shirts as well at Kittenville's showing. Yeah, there it is. It's coming up. It's slow. Anyways, the Peace, Love, Hope, Kittenville Brick, Z Strong. That's just the basic design one of the started out with. All right. And then Big B just went over there and gave you all the, the link to those. So... Also, as well, please, uh, everybody, just go ahead and give a follow. Go check out over at Holland Ball and Auctions. Um, also, please, you know, make sure you give a follow to Kittenville and, of course, uh, Uncle Cheap. Um, but just give a follow. Give some support over on the Holland and Ballin. Um, if, if you want to help out, if you want to do something, um, you don't have to necessarily chase after the, the high price tag that's on uh, going for the Holland and Ballin auction thing. That's just, that's a... It's just a bunch of, you know, silly boys over there swinging it to see who's the biggest. Um, 
<laughs> just a bunch of eighth balls to see who's got the biggest balls of all. Boys whipping out a ruler. Um, <laughs> but go support him over there. Um, I know that uh, his son had already been sponsored this year with Brick Santa. That's sort of what brought it to uh, some people's attention. But um, I, I, I think that we need to talk about this a lot more in our community. Not necessarily, you know, the, the woes, but just that we, uh, the community, we became very fractured and we need to get beyond whatever's and uh, support each other and support our community. And I was very happy that uh, Holland Ball was able to work with me on this and feature this auction during this 24 hour period. So I could talk about it on this show as well, because um, I feel pretty bad that, you know, I haven't been streaming as much as I normally do. Um, and I have not been able to sort of feature uh, Kitten as much as I have wanted to. Um, so he's a great guy, wonderful memory of our community. Uh, just they, they got hit with a shovel, you know. There's a lot going on right now, and um, just they could use some support. And in this situation, awesome. every little bit really does help. And uh, one of the main focuses and the reason why we've been asking and trying to pull for everybody is because this is going to be such a long journey and that this first round is going to take 52 weeks. Uh, and uh, we're going to have to be within 30 miles of Tulsa. And so the, the place we reside over in Walika is about 75, 80 miles from Tulsa. So we're going to have to relocate and find another house and move in the whole nine yards. And that's the reason why I reached out the way I did to everybody that I could. <laughs> appreciate you coming on and talking to us about it. I know it's difficult sometimes to chat about this and it takes a, it takes a lot to, to present this. Mm -hmm. but we're, we're here for you. Appreciate it. I don't know if the community can get you all the way to that goal that you have set there, but there's other uh, friends, family, church groups, and stuff like that. We're part, part move, of. Try to help you move the needle. Uh, you recently mm -hmm. posted that you were able to get some repairs done to the truck by a local uh, dealership, correct? Yes. Uh, another agency had donated some money uh, or cut a check to the Ford dealership uh, to start the repairs on the truck, and they still got another $1,000 uh, to do uh to get things done maybe a thousand we don't know yet they just done some the old change and they're looking at these two sensors and and if they could get this sensor fixed by cleaning the system up a little bit more uh then it won't cost so much but it could be up to thirteen hundred dollars for the repairs but we'll get there you know god will provide is so that's just been my motto well here's the truck did you post a, a uh, link to your Bricklink store? Do what, sir? Can you post a link to your Bricklink store? I thought I did uh, up there. Did it not go through? Mm, checking the chat right now. I don't see it in the chat anywhere. I see a bunch of my... Yeah, I don't, I don't see the Bricklink, but... Uh... It may kick me out. Let's see, there's... Amazon, yeah, I'm just it out. internally to our chat, and I can post it. Is it okay, it, I, I definitely have the right since it's my thing. I just tried to post it on the point through on the chat. I put the code and copy and paste real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, food got it there. All right. Sometimes if you don't have a hammer or a wrench, you can't post uh, things on somebody else's chat. Yeah. No, it doesn't like um, doesn't like it at all. I don't know why. It's safer that way. 
You've seen some of the ticks that get out there on these streams and start chatting. Oh, should, should allow me to make my own mistakes and be my own fool um, <laughs> when I'm on my own. All right, well, it's it's Kittenville, just like you think it's spelled. I will post a link into the thing down below, and if I figure it out, I'll do a card right here across my face, and uh, yeah. maybe have a, I'll, I'll have a link here, 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 and here. Uh, I'm not. I won't. Well, Big B's one of my three mentors. I had um, I had um, Clutch, Big B, and Brixar. Uh, Brixar and and Big B, I was watching them from the uh, from when they first started and and the way they developed their store and and they have a lot of useful information all in between all three of the, those those people. And uh, one thing they said: if you got a name you want to use, own it, get it out there. So that's what I've done. Name matches my Gmail, matches my. Um, my brickling store so yeah you got a brand you got to brand yourself mm -hmm. the whole organization i'm actually uh we're gonna have a, a discussion on that is in the future as well with branding since i'm going through a uh my first real branding experience for the store after all of these years i finally have gotten serious gotten real some of you may or may not have seen it but uh there's this logo thing that i have now that I've never had before, and I honestly can see a difference in um, not only the amount of sales because I actually have something real now, um, mm -hmm. but also in the level of respect, which is really weird, from the online community. So, like I've started receiving weird offers from uh, it was the last one, some sort of social native thing or whatever. Uh, I'm being asked to do a uh, medical equipment sponsorship. Well, medical equipment is deals with weights, so I weigh stuff. I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm going down. I'm going down the branding road. I'm I'm getting stickers. I'm getting credit cards or not credit cards. I'm getting business cards. I'm stuff that goes into the orders and things like that. So I'd like to I'd like to take that experience with other people as well and get their input and sort of go down that road. Big B coasters. Dude, I've gotten people <laughs> are just like I want a t-shirt with your logo. Like what? Like I don't get that. I don't like I I I I don't fathom the whole like I want to wear your store name or anything. Um mm -hmm. and I'm not that. Like, I, I just don't, I, I love it. I, I get the, the people, I'm going to take it as positive support, but, like, I, I just don't, I don't get it. Well, it's it's the same response that we got at Philly Breakfast, and I am keep on bringing up Philly Breakfast just because that was the last time we were all together. Well, it's Philly's awesome, so you continue on. It's yeah. just like the rock concert t-shirts, you know? Hey, look, I got a big B t-shirt. You're over there at yeah, Lego show and yeah, but, or I got a Westminster shirt, position, you know, like they, it's an understanding of why they would have a following. Like they're talented artists. I'm a, I'm a pitch man. I'm <laughs> slinging brick. I am. Uh, I make no qualms about any of it. The point of me doing this video and having a YouTube channel and everything else to begin with is to sling the brick, you know, everything else that's beautiful that has come from having a YouTube channel. Yeah. has all been a secondary, although it, it may have eclipsed what the initial point of having the channel was. You know. Yeah, but like for you, 1A is like splinging brick, but 1B is also to c commiserate with like-minded people and that's a community. Right. Yeah. You know, like that's why we do Holland and Ballin'. It may be an hour a week, but we get on there and we, you know, talk to people that we, you know, we it's sort of catching up, you know, like I met some fantastic people. It was my opportunity to actually talk to other adults. It was <laughs> like one hour to hour and a half a week that I talked to other adults besides, like I talked to my wife and that's the only other adult. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I mean, just a you case. Don't, no, you don't, man. I'm trapped in this basement. You don't understand. They don't let me right. out. I'm in this back room or in the garage, so I, I definitely understand. No, I got. I know. I know. Uh, 
you know, like I, like you were talking about the t-shirts, like we did um, smells like Leffen t-shirts at Philly when we more of just did it to have fun, play games. People didn't want to play the games. They just wanted the shirt. Yeah. So they were offering us money for, I mean, we were like, no, like, well, I, I mean, I don't want to turn down money, but like we, we, we weren't money. trying to make any money on it. We were just trying to have some fun with games. And we ended up, people just went crazy. Oh, my guess. I'm still waiting for you guys to sign my t-shirt. But... I'll sign your t-shirt. You, we're were doing all, a... you guys were all supposed to sign my t-shirt. We got a couple shirts uh, coming up. Uh, we have some ideas. Um, I'm trying to do, trying to figure out how to, do, I'll, I'll do a preview on one. Uh, Brick Revolution came up with one that's supposed to say, show me your studs. <laughs> but I'm trying to, I got to figure out a way not to offend the female, you know, audience of Lego, fans of Lego. Because that's more of, you know, just because it's a take on Leppin, of course. But, you know, I'm just trying to figure out. Well, you no. don't like those novelty tees where it has the uh, the Lego bricks Maybe up there have, and says uh, these are just a doors. pile of studs <laughs> um, with a couple of them obviously labeled as Lego and the other ones with that weird sprue top one. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we're yeah, gonna have to, to make it obvious instead of having them right here on nipples, yeah, like, don't, yeah, do that. No. don't put them on nipple, like <laughs> gather them in the middle. A slightly obscene title with innocent picture. That's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, something where when you're wearing it, you won't come up and get slapped. Because I don't yeah. want. Or you can let your kid wear it, or you can wear it around your kid. Yeah, yeah. I have. Uh, there's another another preview of a t-shirt where um, it, it's just a black t-shirt. It says hashtag in bold print hashtag Lego wood, and there's a picture of a classic Lego tree. Um. You know, just because you know when you know when you get excited. Yeah, you get what. Uh, yeah, so it's a play on that, but uh, you know, I think that's more that's more innocent than the show me your studs t-shirt. Yeah. I just have I have a t-shirt that has a um, what's the proper name for that element? It's uh, spear leaf. The spear leaf element. I mean, yeah. that's an iconic element that Lego has been using for the past. 40 years. This has a picture of that on there. So yeah, many sure. people so many people come up to me and, with disgust and are just like, you shouldn't be wearing that. Let me see. I'm gonna let me see if I can find the picture of the one mock-up that I did. Because I, I think it's hilarious. We just gotta find the right supplier. So you know, when we when you get them made, we can get them made in such a. That's why I want to have this experience and go down this road because there's so many people I'm finding out that want to have these things done. Okay. And then you get be a photographer like I am and go to post pictures up on one of the art galleries online. That works better for me without the hashtag Lego with just the got wood. Do you like it better without the? Just hashtag got wood. Got wood. Okay. Okay. I got so you. You're, you're selling it to your niche audience. You're already selling it to is Lego people, right? Yeah. So you don't need the hashtag Lego in there to attract them. They're already purchasing a shirt because they're specifically on the site I, for Lego yeah. related things. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> it would probably look better as well. So that's good. And it might look better on white. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do a variety. I just gotta. I have a guy that may be able to do six dollars a shirt. For what quantity? Uh, tw in packs of twenty. That's not bad. No. How many colors? Uh, we didn't. We didn't talk about colors. It was just a brief discussion on what what he can do, what kind of, um, you know, how fast a turnaround, I guess, he could do. Um, you know, because we got the smells like Leppin shirts from Rush Order Tees. So it was more of a uh, me, Fick, and Br were talking about it one night, and we just decided, hell, let's let's do something special for Philly. 
let's, that's let's a good idea. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I've been, I've been pondering over the t-shirt thing for a long time. Like I've got a file on my desktop with t-shirt ideas right next to the ones with new tattoo ideas. So yeah, I would wear a big beast t-shirt. All right. I would, I would, uh, you know, I, I think people just like shirts, like t-shirts, you know, I mean, hell, I, I am a part of uh, Loot Crate. That's really the only thing that I really like. I know. Uh, out of Loot Crate boxes is the shirt. That's why I loved the uh, the one that, what was the name of that old club? Brickstock. Or... What the hell was the name of that club that we used to all belong to? The Bricks? Brick Builders Club? Brick Builders Club, that was it. Yeah. That was the best part of that was the t-shirts. Yeah. Glad that hole has been filled. Uh, we're also in the process of working with uh, Clutch and Mr. Kevin Hinkle. I'm lying there. We haven't really worked with them at all on this. Um, but I'm hoping that somebody will hear us say that and tell, tell them that they heard <laughs> it and they want to see this. Um, we want to talk to them about the monthly t-shirt deal as well as what else they're doing. Kevin to come on and talk about his business that he has started as far as uh, the Bricks in the Middle comics, uh, other ideas at all. These are just ideas that we have received as far as messages from you guys of who you want to see on here. Uh, a message did go out to Admin Jack over on Bricklink trying to get them to commit to another interview. And when we do, talk them into it. Uh, I will be even better this time at posting on different places to get ideas for questions. So we're going to have dead air just like that. Yeah. I, and there's, there's some groups on Facebook that will welcome you in with open arms, and then there's other ones that will just be like, if they don't agree with you and what you're posting... They attack you like vultures. I, yeah, I, I just started posting on the Bricklink Facebook site. And the one thing I don't like about how it's set up is you can only join as your account and not as your page. Mm. You know, for me, I like having a persona. I like having an alternate identity. It's it's a lot easier for me to put myself out there if I'm Big B Bricks and not myself. Um, but when I comment on stuff, I have to comment as myself. Mm. So, like one of my customers had posted on there, hey, I'm looking for this poly bag. Does anybody know where the source for this poly bag is? And instead of me telling what the source for the poly bag was, I just said uh, it's available in my store. And then somebody was just like, oh, thank goodness you let us all know that it's available in your store. Wow. One of those one of those lurkers that just wait for the right comment to... Like, okay. This is a commerce group. This is a please comment about buying and selling. Yep. Um, I, uh, I had put a message out there on one of the Facebook groups of three-year anniversary of Holland and Ballin'. You know, join us Sunday night. Everybody's welcome. Like nothing like you must, you know, pay, you know, subscription fees. And I got some nasty comments, like wow. nasty comments, like, like, oh, my God, another YouTube video. Who cares? Like, I'm like, dude, like if, if you don't like my my link, then don't comment. There's a if little I, thing on there that says, you know, silence or do not follow this person. Yeah, I mean, you'll free, you'll free to click on that after you've liked my page. There's over twelve thousand people in that group. So by the time you scroll or get out of that page and then come back, it's gone. Like yeah. it's, gone. you know, so whatever. We'll give it a try. We're trying new things. I'm reaching out. I'm experiencing new things, just like I was a freshman in college, trying new <laughs> stuff. Uh, we have come to the end of the show. Mr. Fu, what do you have to say at the end of the show? Well, as always, you have our coupon code, hashtag SellerStream, on BrickOwl only. 
Hoping uh, that one day Bricklink will take the hint. They will. They will. Maybe that's why we can't get an interview with them. Could be. One, yeah. because I mispronounced their admin's name a couple of times. And two, because we were talking about uh, the owl at the end, like we always do. But, yes, 10% off your order over on Brick Owl just by putting in a hashtag seller stream. This goes on top of any other coupon that you already have at Foos or my store. The hashtag seller stream coupon, I bet you that it's still active over in Doc's store. I bet you it's still active over in Willett's store. I bet you it's still active over in Howie's store. So if you're going to go buy from those guys too, which you should because they're members of the community, um, you can you can sneak in an extra 10% over in their stores too. And then they'll probably remember like, oh man, I still got this coupon code turned on. I'm going to have to shut it off after this, but you know, like, you know who just placed the order, they'll get the discount. Okay. Thank you. Uh, subscribe to and pay for your copy of Brickstock if you use it on a regular basis. If you depend upon Brickstock, go go pay that developer some money. Same thing goes with BrickSync. Even if you haven't made it to the 200,000 level or whatever it is to start answering math questions, um, go buy it. Give these guys some support. They're the only folks out there that are on a day-by-day -day basis really doing it for us. They're, I know I haven't talked about it in a long time, but folks should go out there, let them know that you're subscribing, and if you do buy it, let them know. Just be like, I bought this because Big B told me to on the seller's screen. All right, I want to start getting the branding out there again where we can start you know, getting stuff for our input. That's how we sort of were able to score BrickLink and some of these interviews, and uh, it's time we take it back up to the next level. Mr. Cheap, do you have anything to say? No, join us, uh, all the, join us uh, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Hall a Ball on YouTube. You guys can go crazy long if you want to now. We are now on Thursdays. Hey, you know I appreciate all the, uh, you know, movement that you that you allowed us to on the other days. We don't have a script. We're not too worried about it. Most people watch this show on the afterwards. That's fine. And yeah, which is good. Ninety percent of the viewers watch it when they're working in their store on Mondays. Now it's going to be on Fridays. Or makes they great back, they background noise. What's that? I said makes back make great back, uh, background noise when you're yeah. putting parts away or doing something monotonous. Go on out and watch the entire Ask Clutch series. Watch the entire Hey Clutch How I'm Doing series over on Bricks on the Dollars channel. Uh, go check out Fubrix's series on Brick Stock and how to do stuff in Brick Stock. Um, do not watch any of my early haul videos at all. Uh, That's I, not true. I know. I need to take those down. You got to watch, you gotta watch that. Edits has watched every single one. I'm not done videos. yet. Don't take them all down yet. Every single one of my yeah. videos, like three times, and Mevitz is picked up on every single little subtlety of what I've been doing and what I was doing in those videos. Mevitz Bricks is like a little me. My favorite of your videos, your haul videos, is you standing in the driveway with that big tower of nothing but brown boxes. And he's just like, he's just opening boxes and he's just throwing them in a pile. And then by the end of the video, he's just exhausted. You can tell he's just exhausted because it's hot out and it, the sun has been beating. And he, I don't know, how long did the video run? For like two hours, an hour and a half? Uh -huh. You had... I, I don't know. I got to go back and watch it. Cause Which, it was, was it the one where I had the actual tower where I was on the ladder? Yes. Uh, 45 minutes. Okay. So it was just like, <laughs> you were just done. Yeah, that video is no longer even listed. Um, once, once it started getting publicity from uh, our friends over at m and Productions, um, I, yeah. like, the number of th thumbs down went up. I was a lot of thumbs down on it but not to the level there were. And then, you know, when people see something in a video, they don't use their own brain and sort of dissect it and be like, oh, no, no, like, they're definitely not Christmas. Like, there's leaves on the trees that are just budding. Like, nowhere near Christmas. It's blatantly obvious. Um, and they didn't get the sarcasm. So people see stuff, they want to hate on stuff. I, I ain't got time for that anymore. I don't have time for it anymore. I gotcha. 
I got you. No, don't feed into it. I agree. I agree. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Uh, like I tried using the new hashtag, uh, bulk is the new Sunday, 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 because I've, some of the pictures that I've taken and posted, like the value, just the street value of what's in that single photograph that's on the table is more than what that giant pile was. I gotcha. Can't deal with the hate. Just can't do it anymore. It ain't worth it. Nah, and you just ignore it because then it'll go away. That's all. It did. And it did. Yeah, that's all. You can't feed into it. So that's and food. I want food to have a uh, new video series. How to disable? How to disassemble sets the fastest way possible? I think food. Yeah. <laughs> I've already got requests into him. You know, do you know food that you will never live that down at yep. all? And uh -huh. I wish, and I wish it was on video. What is it all? <laughs> As, it was when I broke the train shed. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll never live that down. No, <laughs> no, it will. His, his fixed face will be forever etched in my mind. <laughs> Mine too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Thank you, Callie. I appreciate it. Got it. Anytime. Anytime. I was I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Callie. Oh, fine. Thank you, Callie. I appreciate it. Bottom of my heart. Thank you. No. Um, Uncle Cheap Ass, now to you. Thank you for coming on. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Kid and Bill had received a donation. I just wanted to, it was from a viewer. I wanted to give them thanks for, for, um, said, Holland Ballin currently has an auction rolling. Um, I don't even know what it is that they're, that they're putting out there, but a hundred percent of the proceeds it's the bidding. The bidding on it far exceeds uh, what the value of the item is, and that's the point of a charity auction. So, um, hope that uh, hope that I, I get some competition, and we uh, we have some fun with this one. It ends at one p.m. tomorrow, and um, we'll see what we can do between now and then to. Uh, to get that up and over and get some real money in there. Yes. With that, we will see you next Thursday at 8 p.m. Uh, sorry, we're going so far over on these. Uh, it's not intended. Just having fun with you guys. Uh, give us a topic. We'll discuss it. Ask us questions. We'll, we'll give it all up. Um, I've been pretty open about everything the past few years um, and I'm happy to help out other folks that are setting up themselves and getting out there. I wouldn't have been able to do this to make it my daily thing if I didn't get the support from you guys. So I just want to make sure that it rolls on out there. I'm not going to pay for your coffee when I'm in line because uh, I don't go to Starbucks, but I want to pay it forward in any other way that I can. So no dunking for you? Yes, sir. No, man, I'm, I, I love coffee, but uh, I'm, I'm frugal, brother. I'm frugal. Like, you saw me you saw me cooking at Philly. Like, I cooked my own food at Philly because I'm cheap, not just because I enjoy cooking. I got gotcha. you. All right. I was looking at this stuff. This, this stuff's awesome. <laughs> I'll stick to my old traditional stuff. stuff. For $1.99. Yeah. All right, no that's bad. it. That's all. See you guys next Thursday. Uh, if you got anything, buy. I'm going to put it out there. Go buy something at Kittenville's place. If you, if you there's something you want to buy from me this week, don't buy it from me. Go buy it from Kittenville. Yes, support Kittenville. Go out, buy stuff. Yeah, I appreciate it. And we'll have him on a separate week and do the crazy because it is. It's freaking crazy. Uh, and he's doing this because he loves his family and loves his son. Um, and we're going to show you just how far a dad will go. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, pretty amazing. All right. Thank you guys. And uh, see you next week.